Yo, yo, yo. Hey, everybody. It is Justin, your guide into the Azuki verse. So, uh, a little birdie, aka, okay, not a little birdie. <laughs> One of my friends dropped in my DMs and was like, bro, you got to check out the Azuki verse if you're anything into anime or if you like, you know, sm smooth, clean animations with epic PFPs. They're building out something great, especially since, you know, their two year anniversary dropped on the timeline. So, you might as well check that out as well. So, I have the Azuki website up here because it's clean as hell. But we're going to drop into the thread. There's the uh, sisters trailer. Um, we'll talk about the anniversary for Azuki and what they're building. But he was like, you got to check out the Elementals trailer first. So why don't we just go ahead and drop into that and see what's going on. Um, I'm super late to the party, guys. But I might as well do a react later rather than never. Um, about five months late. But we might as well see it because he said it was clean. So I, I, I think I'm going to believe him and see what's going on here. So why don't we drop into it? Okay, it is clean. Holy shit. Holy moly. The visuals pop, like, pop. <laughs> That's Yasuo, oh my god. <laughs> Sorry guys, I had to make the... <sighs> okay, the elements give me Avatar vibes, guys. It's, it's clean, it's clean. Dude, the animation is clean as hell. Holy moly. Fight scenes. Oh yeah. Fight scenes. Let's go. Give me that. Woo. Ooh. Dude, <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's Yasuo in my head. I just traumatized by League of Legends, guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but this was like super this, this okay clean trailer clean tra trailer overall the the music the sound design just gives you chills and the color palette is just amazing um damn clean clean that's all i can say clean definitely like that and subscribe <laughs> it's pretty difficult but anyways let's just try to drop into the uh i guess the second anniversary announcement from azuki here so as Shao stories continue, so does Azuki. So what is Azuki, right? It is an anime brand and an anime Web3 NFT brand. And this year we're evolving into something far greater. So through the collective effort of the garden, Azuki is becoming a decentralized anime ecosystem. So that's super interesting to see. Priorities, grow the Azuki IP and reward the community. So our IP strategy consists of three branches, anime, physical, and gaming. So through our focus in storytelling across diverse mediums, we aim to craft unique experiences that will grow Azuki into a globally renowned anime IP. So it's super interesting to see how multiple, you know, projects are building out their specific niches, Azuki, you know, with anime, uh, Forgotten Runes with fantasy MMORPGs, and, you know, Wizards, and then Yuga with the Bored Ape uh, collection. So it's amazing to see these niches expand out into you know, their appropriate verticals. So let's just kind of see what Azuki is doing with anime. So we're excited to work with Goro Tanaguchi, director of Code Geass. Hopefully I'm not saying this wrong. I'm going to get fucking roasted if I'm saying this incorrectly, guys. So I'm sorry. Um, and Japan's leading advertising and production agency, Dentsu. Wait. Dentsu? Oh, shit. Okay, this... Okay, that's kind of big. Uh, I remember Den... I, I think I saw Dentsu on... Okay, no. It reminds me of the Bleach opening or... Aizen's destroying everybody. I think that's Rambo and Melody. God, I'm getting too deep into this, guys, but that was like the best intro for uh, Bleach. A anyways, um, so Densu on the Azuki Anthology series. The first episode is slated to release in quarter two. That's just around the corner, guys. That's like a couple months away. Uh, quarter one is about to end in like two months, right? Two and a half months. So um, that's pretty soon. Uh, we're, we're also invested in other short and long form anime projects. So that's pretty bullish. Not going to lie. I, I would like to watch that. Um, let's just drop into the physical too. So we're expanding our network of PBT products, both in-house and through collaboration. So the line between physical and digital is blurring and the PBT experience will deepen one's connection with the Yuzuki IP. So we're looking forward to sharing more about a new luxury brand collab later this year. Luxury branding for uh, Azuki's. Yo, Azuki's have some of the most pretty okay they have a pretty dope collection especially on the uh, azukis and the elementals like traits with regards to clothing so uh super dope to see luxury man collabs and 
also what's coming up is the Beans X Browns gold toy. So I think that's pretty I think that's pretty aligned with Azuki. They got some clouded, uh, clouded drip, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, that might be crazy to say, but it's true. Okay, anyways, our first hyper casual mobile game featuring beans is slated to come out this year. So, okay, that's gonna be uh, being played for sure. Um, we are exploring larger scale games that can elevate our Azuki IP through interactive experiences at the intersection of anime, gaming, and web three. So that's gonna be interesting to see as well. I wonder what those larger scale games could be. Um, I, I'll keep my eye on that. That will definitely go on the schedule. We'll definitely see what's going on here, but let's move on. As the Azuki ecosystem grows, we're kickstarting the flywheel to reward our community. So I guess they, they dropped collector status 1.0 here. So, uh, I guess we can kind of see esteemed grand legend and the order. So remind really does remind me of like league of legends badges and rankings, because uh, that's gonna be a great way for people to kind of express themselves and kind of show what they've been collecting. And it seems like the, uh, that's what they're doing here. So collector status tiers are granted based on the emblems earned in your collection. So there are 12 new emblems in the collector's profile and every emblem is uniquely weighted and factored into your status. So. Seems like they have a, a different they have a different emblem for particular traits and uh, different things. So by all means, you can check that out. Um, your collection and engagement with the community are all part of your Azuki story and will continue to act as potential pathways to receiving future drops. So that is super interesting as well, especially if you're an existing collector of Azuki PFPs and beans as well, but we'll have to see that in the future. So as we continue to grow the Azuki ecosystem, we've engaged with Fenwick West to build the decentralized future of anime. So the greatest anime ips of the future will be in web 3 sorry for that and azuki is paving this path together with the community so it seems like on january 17th uh 5 p.m pacific time they can join us on the garden stage to hear more about our upcoming anime anthology series from feb t and steam boy 33 so a lot of cool things happening you know we got the you know we got uh, well, okay, January 17th, 5 p.m. PT. That's the same time that Nifty Island is dropping their stuff too, but I'm getting a little bit off topic, so definitely check out the gar uh, Garden Gold, uh, Discord stage. Holy moly, uh, I'm losing my train of thought here, but it's definitely going to be interesting to see the games, the physical, um, you know, luxury brand collabs, as well as what they're cooking up for anime. So um, let me know what you think. Definitely check out the Sisters trailer here as well. Um, you know, it was super cool to see all of the, uh, you know, I guess the Azuki Elemental trailer. That's super clean. They got that shit wrapped. Um, but also check out the amazing, super <laughs> epic and very clean website for Azukis. And do let me know if you have one, if you are collecting Azukis in the comments, definitely hit that like and subscribe button. I'll definitely be covering Azukis in the future. But uh, that's all I got for today, guys. You guys know where to find me. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.